why did you decide to come to Coco? Why did you stay? Okay, so at first I came to Coco as a criminology major, um, and I chose Coco because, well, for two reasons, because Coco was one of the only schools in the state of South Carolina that offered criminology instead of criminal justice. Um, but also, when I took my first tour at Coker, I I loved it so much that I didn't need to tour anywhere else. My mom looked at me and she was like, I could see you staying here for the re for four years. Um, and that's what I've done. And I chose to stay at Coker because of all the people that I met. A lot of my friends, I could see them as my bridesmaids and my wedding whenever that happens. Um, and we're really a family and then also just the relationship I've developed with like my teachers and uh, everyone else it's it's a community rather than and I'm not just a number I'm not just someone that you walk past and you don't know who they are um, and that's what I love about Coker because you don't get that anywhere else so that's why I stayed <laughs> okay what are you most excited about uh, I'm really excited about meeting all the new people. I mean, I already met some people, but I think there are a lot of more connections you can make. And um, I'm excited about just learning some new stuff in my classes, because I think I'm really interested about my major. And just have fun. I mean, it's a new country for me, because I'm from Germany, so just get some experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you do for fun here? <laughs> um, I hang out with my friends a lot. Uh, we always do stuff on the weekends. Um, my best friend's really into movies, so we'll go to the Hearts Movie Theater. I'm into shopping, so I go shopping a lot. They have sidewalk sales at Ray John South and Moggs and other places in Hartsville, so I go shopping a lot and spend more money than I should. Um, I like to sleep. I like to eat. So we always go out to dinner, um, but usually just getting out of our rooms and hanging out with other people on campus, I guess, would sum up all of that. Has your family adjusted to you not being there? Um, to be honest, I talk to them a lot and they always tell me that they miss me, mm -hmm. especially like my sister because she has to live alone now and doesn't have a sibling anymore. But, um, yeah, I think they just want me to have fun here and to get good education. And they almost always tell me that they have a good feeling me being here. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're ready to graduate? Do you feel ready for what's next? I think I'm ready to graduate, yes. Um, and I feel prepared for what's next, but I don't know what's coming next, if that makes sense. Um, I don't really have a plan, but I feel like the experience that I've had here, that no matter what I do after college, whether it's something that I planned or that I didn't plan, um, I'll be prepared and I'll be able to jump right into anything that uh, is offered. Um, so I'm excited about graduating, a little nervous. That's very bittersweet to graduate. So what does it feel like? Do you feel like a college student yet? Um, I like actually do because I think I've already been involved in several things here at college. Um, but there's a lot more to discover. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I hopefully will discover this in the next few years and then will be able to say that I really feel like a college mm -hmm. student that experienced everything. <laughs> What's the thing you think you will miss the most? I'm going to miss being able to run down the hall and talk to a friend if I need it. I'm going to miss rooming with my best friends. And I'm mostly just going to miss the connections I've made with people here. Because after I graduated high school, I, don't, I didn't really talk to a lot of the people I graduated with. And I'm afraid that when I graduate, that's going to happen again, which is really sad. Um, because I love the people that I go to school with. 
and so I just really hope that we don't lose touch. Um, but I'm gonna miss all the people, all the professors. And as much as I hate it, I'm gonna miss going to class every day just because that's what I've been doing for the past four years. And it's gonna be weird having to be an adult. Um, so who is like your go-to person here at Booker? Who have you connected with the most thus far? Because I know that freshman year, you kind of feel a little out of place. You don't know where you belong. Um, and you kind of have to fall back on someone. So who is your person? I would say from the student side, really my roommate. Mm -hmm. Because um, we're really close. Um, although she's from Japan and I'm from Germany. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I really love her and I can talk to her about anything. Then my RA, because she's part of my tennis team. Mm. She's so sweet. <laughs> and um, I would say Professor Stefano, <laughs> because he's really funny and he's my advisor. Mm. And I met with him at the beginning for my classes. So I had the contact with him from the beginning on. And Dr. Heusel, mm. because I'm thinking of becoming a communication minor. And she's always helping me with my speeches, mm -hmm. always there for me if I have any questions. Yeah. I love her. I'm a communication major. She's my favorite. Oh. <laughs>